Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Nikola Petkovic and in this video I'll be taking you for an in-depth review of Peninsula project done by Select Group. Now this is a very very special project. It's very attractive and uh, you should definitely take a look at it if you're interested in making an investment in, here in Dubai. Uh, we start from explaining who the developer is and their background. Now, the developer, as mentioned, is Select Group. They have started developing in 2002 when they are formed. And so far, they have successfully delivered over 7,000 units to the market. They are operational here in Middle East and in Europe as well. And they also have another 5,000 units to be delivered on the market. Some of them we will discuss in this video. Uh, Select Group has been quite known here in Dubai and it's honestly one of the best developers to work with and because they always deliver and you know what to expect from them. They, are all, they have always been in a luxury segment which you can see from their buildings as well. These are some of the completed buildings or delivered projects uh, they have done. Uh, these are here in United Arab Emirates, uh, Marina Gate 1, Royal Oceanic, Yacht Bay, Jumeirah, Living Marina Gate, Marina Gate 2. These are fantastic buildings. Like if you have ever been to Dubai or ever been to Dubai Marina, you definitely have seen and uh, you know some of their buildings. Um, what we are focusing on today, though, is the under construction project. And that is this master development or a master community, which is called Peninsula, located in Business Bay. Before we go uh, and talk more about Peninsula, we'll uh, notice what else they are building at the moment. 98 Baker Street, which is in London. Uh, 15 North Side, which is also their development here in Business Bay. And it's about to be completed, actually, this building. And then we come to Ultimate Luxury, which is Six Senses Residences De Palm, Dubai. Now, I will be making an entire video about that, so expect that to come as well. Now, let's get to, back to our focus, which is Peninsula. Uh, this is the location of Peninsula. So, it's this island right here that we are talking about. It will be a master community and it has a fantastic location, which we can see a little bit better here on Google Maps. So... This, this here is area of Business Bay. Now, as you see, Peninsula is located in the heart of Business Bay. It's on the point where the canal is widest, right? And as you see, it has water from both sides. So it's pretty much an island or half island here. Uh, the red line that you see is Sheikh Zayed Road, which is the most used uh, highway in Dubai. And this is a metro station here as well. So it's really well connected and it works pretty much for anyone. Now, this is the entrance and exit to Sheikh Zayed Road. And it goes directly here to the master community, to Peninsula. Uh, it has two exits, this one and this one here, entrances and exits to the community itself. Although there might be another one coming, but for now these two are, are there, they are confirmed. As you can see from the location of where the Business Bay is, for people who are not living in Dubai or have not uh, visited before, uh, this is a central hub or a business hub of Dubai, that's why it's called Business Bay, and it's next to downtown. This is where Burj Khalifa is, this is uh, uh, overall area of downtown Dubai, and this is here Dubai Mall. Here you can see more clearly Burj Khalifa and the Fountain, Opera District, the location is is A, so that's that's definitely for sure. Let me show you the video as well, where you can see the aerial shots. Yeah, this is the line, so Business Bay, as you can see. Now, this is the line we are talking about. This is where development is going on. Uh, these are drone shots, actual shots, and this is how it actually looks right now. What you have seen in this part is different segments as you see of the total master development so this entire island as i said will is developed by select group uh, and it's a master community it's called peninsula 
Now, regarding the community itself, in the community you will find eight residential towers. Uh, you will see, as you can see here, that towers are positioned in such a way they, that, that they do not obstruct view from one another. So look at, for example, Peninsula 1 and Peninsula 2. They are, they are moved apart. Uh, look at, for example, Peninsula 5 here. So they are all under certain angles, so they would not obstruct each other's views. Now, you have seen the aerial shots of the surroundings uh, just now. And imagine when this is done, what kind of a views you will get. Burj Khalifa is on this side. This is the backside of Business Bay and Sheikh Zayed Road. This is the canal, as you can see it here, its widest point, and then the rest of the, the city. Uh, so it's really unobstructed views. It's wonderfully designed, and uh, it's one of the projects to really look out for. Now, as you see here, views that are available, skyline, canal view, partial Burj Khalifa, and full Burj Khalifa view. Inside of the community as well, 10% of the budget is allocated for greenery which is something that will also make it really stand out because right now in Business Bay, all you have is towers and concrete, uh, pretty much. So this is something that will really make it stand out. Uh, look at the list here of everything that's available inside of the community also. So lawn areas, basketball court, tennis court, paddle court, uh, podium settings uh, with greenery, food and beverage, pavilions, kids play area, skate park, running, walking track, Everything is there. I mean, it's, it's really fantastic the way that it's thought out. We are now coming to the first building, which is Peninsula 1. Uh, the tower is located here in the red, as you can see. So it's on the entrance uh, to, the, to the community or the master development. This here will be the pavilion or uh, headquarters of the select group. And our current focus is on Peninsula 1, the tower here. This tower has 433 units over 36 floors and it's consistent of studios, one bedrooms and two bedroom apartments. The sizes, as you can see here, are quite good, especially for, uh, uh, for Business Bay. So one beds and two beds, decent, decent sizes, uh, but it's sold out actually mm, since its launch in December, if I'm not wrong, but it has been uh, sold out overnight pretty much anyone who had knowledge of this project who knew who knew this was coming he put their money here and they are right right to do so now the entire project is scheduled to to be completed in 2024 end of it uh, quarter 4 2024 what's what's interesting here uh, these are example examples of of the layouts these are not the only layouts available. These are just some of the examples I have chosen to let you to, to, to give you a, basically a chance to see what it's about because it's sold out. Uh, it has few of the units remaining, but they're on very low floors. So I would not recommend going for that considering what I will show you down the line. Uh, <clears throat> as, as I mentioned, Select Group is a fantastic developer who, who is in luxury segments. So this is what you expect. This is actually a render shot from the... Uh, Peninsula One, uh, beautiful blend and colors, color blends. It's uh, something that's really classy. Uh, kitchen looks fantastic. You can see the, the some of the materials here: quartz surface, stainless steel sinks, glass backsplash, which is this part here. Uh, overall, I mean, it's it's just beautiful. Uh, some of the interesting things is that every building, as you have, you were able to see here or you can look here as well. Every building has its own facilities. So the pool we, uh, we, with this tower or Peninsula 1 is 420 cubic meters, which is really a, a huge, it's a proper pool for a building this size. Moving on, uh, with Peninsula 1, the tower, which is here, we have also two simplex uh, buildings, which are low-rise low buildings. And they are waterfront, especially this one here. Like this is as close to the water as you can get. Uh, these two buildings, they have a total of 85 units, which are larger sizes, as you can see here, consisted of one, two and three bedrooms. 
They are absolutely fantastic. They are meant more for a family living instead of investment, like for an example, the Tower One, at least in my opinion. Uh, but it's definitely, it's definitely fantastic uh, development. I mean, imagine living here next to the open water as well. Or let me show you something that you will be interested in. Peninsula Two. Peninsula Two is this tower right here. And it's basically a copy paste of Peninsula One. It has a few units more inside, but it's basically a copy paste. This is the same as Penin Peninsula One. But what's interesting for, for this area and Peninsula Two is that there is a retail here. Uh, a mall, basically, which has 66,000 square foot. Uh, 23 individual retail units uh, are here. So you will have a lot of stuff like... Uh, Barbers, pharmacies, F&B outlets, uh, retails, and so forth and so forth. So it's basically a, a mall for, for the master community itself, for the Peninsula master community. Now we are coming to Peninsula 5, which is uh, a tower here. Why 5? Why not 3 or 4? It's because I'm recording this and talking about this uh, in the way that in order actually as they have launched them. So the first launch was one and two, completely slowed out. Uh, then they launched Peninsula 5. Uh, we still have very few units available here, but the latest one is Peninsula 3, which I will be talking about in a completely separate video because we'll really go inside of that one as that is something that you can buy right now and that I can definitely recommend. Now, Peninsula 5 is a little bit different from the Peninsula 1 and 2 towers. Uh, why? Because apartments inside of it are bigger in size. As you can see here, it also has three bedroom units, which you could not get inside of the towers of Peninsula 1 and 2. Uh, here, outside of three bedroom units, which are very large by the size, as you can see, uh, there's also one and two beds that are quite large, two bedroom, they start from 1,160 square foot, which is uh, very good, especially, especially for the sizes generally delivered in Business Bay. So this is, this is a large project. This building has 36 floors, so Peninsula 5 is over 36 floors. Uh, like the project itself, it's scheduled to complete it in quarter four of 2024. You also have two low-rise buildings uh, here, which are uh, called duplexes, waterfront duplexes, these two buildings here, and they are really out, outside on the water pretty much, so we'll look at them as well. These are the, the duplex low-rise buildings, this is the first one, this is the second one here, it's a little bit covered by the building, and this is Peninsula 5, the tower. As you can see here, uh, these are the sizes and units in these two uh, low-rise buildings. Uh, look at these sizes. I mean, this, this is huge. Two bedrooms starting from 1,600 square foot all the way to 2,400 square foot. Uh, four bedrooms, just massive, massive. 4,710 square foot. So that's, that's huge. That's... Uh, a really property to, to wish for. Now, there is a lot of terraces as well within those size, but when you have views like this, you're on the widest point of the canal and directly on waterfront, you want the terraces, believe me. So that's something that's, that's amazing. Uh, we've come to the prices and payment plans. Now, why didn't I mention the, pri mention the price and payment plans for the uh, Peninsula 1 and Peninsula 2? It's because they are pretty much sold out. Like I said, uh, we have some very few units remaining in Peninsula 1 at this moment at least. Uh, but they are located on very low floors like podiums mostly. And I would not recommend anyone to buy that. Not right now. Why? Well, because we have further launches to come and we have much better offers as I will show you. Uh, you have seen some of them here in Peninsula 5 actually, but for pure investment, there is Peninsula 3, for which I'm going to record uh, a whole another video. But the point of it is, I still want to keep you informed so you can see and understand the entire master community and master development that Peninsula is. Now, in this tower, 
regarding the, the tower itself of Peninsula 5, you can see uh, studio apartments were starting from 886,000, one bedroom for 1.2 million, two bedrooms from 2 million, 45,000, three bedrooms from 3.5 million uh, dirhams we are talking about. So prices are generally good especially for this kind of development and everything that you get with development such as this. Uh, but these are the prices for the tower. Now, the prices that you see here on the right, as it says, wa waterfront simplex duplex, waterfront duplexes basically are in these two smaller units, uh, buildings, sorry, that are low rise. And you can see what the starting points uh, are of these, these properties here. This is a payment plan as well. Uh, for Peninsula 5. So as you see, it's pretty much easy payment plan, five steps. Reservation will cost you 5% of the uh, price of the unit you decide to go for. Within 14 days, you need another 10% and then you have six months to come up with 15% uh, balance. After nine months from the reservation date, you have another 10% and then on completion at the end of 2024, and uh, when developer actually receives building completion certificate, you pay the balance of 60% and take the keys to your unit. Now, these are some of the, some of the layouts in Peninsula 5. Studios, pretty much standard, as you can see. Uh, pantry, full bathroom here, good, good sizes as well. All of them have um, a nice balconies also. This is one of the one bedroom units as well. Two bedroom uh, right here, living room, corridor. Both of the bedrooms are master bedrooms in, in, in this building. They're all generally larger sizes as you have seen. And then we have a three bedroom uh, sample here as well. Uh, wonderfully designed, connected balconies as well, which is nice, especially with the views that you have. Different orientations from the building as well. Uh, towards the backside, community view, canal view, uh, Burj Khalifa and skyline view, absolutely fantastic. Some of the general information, as, as you have seen, so in Peninsula 5, the tower itself, total of three, 321 units, uh, dominated by one bedrooms, 138, followed by studios at 107 studios in the building then two and three beds, 46 and 30 units of three beds. Uh, sizes, as we have discussed, total number of duplexes is 60. So there's very few of them and they're in very, very much uh, desirable units. Anything pretty much in this community is desirable. It's just a property that uh, you, would, you would be happy to, to own. Uh, Talking about investment point in all of this, from the location itself to the uh, quality that is delivered uh, and entry price points, potential of rent and rental yields, potential of capital growth, capital gain is just a um, really, really beautiful investment and really beautiful project. Uh, whoever can actually afford to invest something in this, I would definitely recommend it. Now, before I, I tell you more about it and how you can get in touch with me for more information, let's go through a bit more of these points. Like for an example, uh, you can see that uh, height of the ceiling is 2.9 meters. Uh, in the kitchen is 2.6 because of the fake ceilings or gypsum ceilings. Uh, dining again 2.9, which is normal. For duplexes, pretty much the same situation. Uh, it is powered or cooled by Empower. Uh, look at the, the size of the swimming pool. Again, this is only for the tower, 425 square meters. This is including a jacuzzi, uh, 1.2 meter depth, then uh, children's pool as well. Everything is, by the way, uh, under security, CCTV cameras, so forth and so forth. You have kitchen appliances as well with the apartment itself. Uh, car, car parking is allocated, of course, there is a total of 454 um, allocated parking spots in the building in Peninsula 5 only. Uh, bike stands, even uh, electric car charges if you have a Tesla or something like that. So everything has been thought of and uh, overall it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, community to be in. So 
that will be all for for this video but in the next video i'm gonna come up and talk about uh, peninsula 3 which is the latest launch and where we have the most availability at the moment because it is a recent most recent launch uh, that project is more for an investment peninsula 5 might be because of the sizes for people who want to live there themselves um, because of the size mainly as well Peninsula 3 is a little bit more affordable, so we'll take a deeper dive into that in the next video where I will show you also uh, more information about that building. We'll go through uh, all the layouts and the floor plans together and if you want to get in touch with me for more information, all you need to do is basically uh, go to my channel as you already are, click on the... Uh, the description you have in the description of any of my videos you have my phone number here which you can give me a, a call or a text message or you can click this link and it will automatically take you to a chat with me on on whatsapp if you have it opened on your phone or, or your laptop so uh, you are one click away basically from being on chat with me let me know what what you are looking for let me know what you are interested in if you want to discuss more about this if you want to get this uh, on your phone we can get in touch regarding that and i'm here to assist you anyway subscribe if you haven't and thank you to all the people who did i'll be back again talking about peninsula 3 in the next video stay with me you're gonna like that one thank you